Uh, Fede, yes, you're uh, you're quite right. Uh, living in a world without guilt might not be the best world, unless, of course, everybody was to jettison guilt at the same time as adopting the position that I illustrated earlier, whereby people stopped relying upon outside things, or desire, I guess, to create their positive value states. So, as I said, it looks as though guilt and desire are related to each other, and that certainly seems to be one way in which they are related. Um, I originally began with dealing with guilt in terms of its pathological uh, varieties, but you know, it, the, the, you can sort of pursue the matter uh, until you get to sort of where you and I are right now, and it'll go farther than that, I'm sure. But <clears throat> you raise a point whereby, if we had a world in which there was no guilt, then there wouldn't be sufficient restraint, or there would be far fewer restraints on human misbehavior which might be difficult to define, but we know what human misbehavior is. So, um, yes, we should only jettison guilt in the context of understanding um, that we're jettisoning, jettisoning it under certain circumstances. And the circumstances, I guess, would be when guilt becomes pathological. Um, a little bit of guilt isn't going to do anybody any harm, but it's still a negative value state. Um, when guilt becomes pathological, it has to be, at the very least, reduced. So we have to understand what guilt is. And if we're going to look at it that way, then yes, I think that we can just sort of say, we can take it as a continuum, perhaps. Um, too much guilt, how do we reduce it? Well, we move towards the uh, control of desires thing and the uh, influence one's own positive value states thing. Um, if there's insufficient guilt, then there's you know as you say you get a you get a state you know that we usually call uh, sociopathy, <laughs> uh, where you know somebody can just go ahead and do things without worrying about any guilt at all, um, do bad things. So um, I'm not saying we jettison guilt. Um, any more than I'm saying we jettison the prison system or police or whatever, all that stuff. Um, what I'm saying is, um, as sort of desire, I guess, is reduced, then guilt can be reduced. The only time I think that you could be completely free of guilt is if you're completely free of desire for anything in this world. <clears throat> when you understand that what you desire is the positive value state, not anything else. You don't desire things to bring on the positive value state. You desire the positive value state itself. You want your experiences, your qualia, to be of a positive nature. Um, so you go after positive as opposed to things that you think will lead you to positive qualia. Now that looks like, oh yeah, well I've just solved every problem in the universe, but no, all I've done is I've put all the problems up in here. It's not really a, uh, you know, it's just sort of drawing a fork in the road and saying going this way instead of that way. Still one heck of a long road, I presume, ahead of us, assuming that it's even one that can work. Um... So no, I'm not saying we throw guilt out. I do think, though, that we must be conscious of what it is, and when people sort of shoot guilt bolts at each other, I think that people do that with a little bit, you know, sort of insufficient circumspection. I don't think people um, 
I don't think that people understand what kind of damage they're doing, or if they do understand the damage that they're doing by throwing guilt bolts, then they're, you know, most of the guilt then is just going to rebound back to them because they understand that what they're doing is creating a negative value state for another human being or contributing to it, I guess. And presumably that will lead to guilt because they understand that even as they inflict guilt, it's just sort of going to be mirrored back to them. Um, so, uh, you know, it just seems to be a bit... And the guilt that's mirrored back to you, I think, uh, takes the form of anger. Um, again, you sort of you throw guilt at somebody because you presume that they're guilty of something. If you think somebody is guilty of something, then they're doing something wrong, which they shouldn't do. They shouldn't do something that they shouldn't do because you've decided that they shouldn't do it, and this results, of course, in anger. <laughs> So I guess that's where guilt comes back at you. It comes back in anger, or perhaps just more guilt. Um, so, yeah, it's it's not really a question of, of throwing guilt away. It's, I guess, as I say, it's something that we have to understand. And as you reduce desire, so you can reduce guilt. Um, as far as uh, the original sort of point you responded to... Um, if we can create our own positive value states, then guilt then becomes an error. But when I say create our own positive value states, I would say um, creating our own positive value states without relying upon desire, <laughs> uh, without relying upon other things. It's like, instead of saying, I want to create a positive value state by going after that bikini-clad woman I see walking up the beach, I just sort of say, I want the positive value state, per se. I um, just wanted to make that clear. I'm not saying we create our own positive value states through the exercise of desire. I'm just saying that we create a positive value state in and of itself, that isn't contingent upon something else. <laughs> I think you got that, but I just wanted to make sure.